Hi everyone, my name is Dave Dubay. I'm a product manager at Cisco, and I want to show you how you can use the Cisco Technical Support mobile app to help manage your support cases. So I'm going to launch the app, and I happen to have already logged in. I'm going to jump into Cases and Contracts, and you notice off to the right there are a couple numbers there. Those are indicating the number of open cases associated to cases I've opened, so my open cases, or cases that my colleagues have opened up. So that's all open cases. And again, if I go into all, or just my open cases, we separate between where the work is, if it's a customer pending state or a Cisco pending state. And if we go into all open cases, the same scenario applies. So if we go into Cisco pending, there happens to be a case opened by my colleague, dot 22, um, and in here, you can see the bell icon. That indicates I would be notified anytime this case um, changes states. So if I wanted to, I can turn those notifications off. Let's say my colleague was on vacation. Uh, I wanted to follow him. They came back. I don't want to follow them anymore. And likewise, if they go back on vacation, I can turn them back on. So it's very easy to turn these on and off. Um, I already have these on my shortcuts. I just removed it real quickly to show you how quickly that is. But if we add to shortcuts and then go back all the way to the top, in my shortcuts, that case will show up. It's pulling the case details. And then when we drill down into that case, and you'll see this when you go through the other path, you can add a note, attach a photo, request an update, can turn the, the same notifications on or off or remove these from your shortcuts. So the same features and functionality you had within the cases and contracts you have as well. Now all open cases that's only available to our customers. For our partners there's a way to cheat and actually get the same information. So if you go into search cases make sure that you have selected title or description and leave the field blank. So this will be the equivalent of a wildcard search and it's going to search for all open and closed cases over the last 90 days. And in fact, we see the one that was opened by my colleague, dot .22, that I just added the notifications to. And then there are three other cases that were recently closed. So that's a quick and dirty way to find cases as well. And keep in mind, you can search by case number, RMA number, a case owner ID, or a service contract number. That's all available to you as well. And then the one part that always can sometimes trip people up if you go into date created. Here you would go in and actually pick where you want to start that search. So by default we look over the last 90 days but if you need to go earlier you can do that. Let's say pick from March and it would search from March 27th on to June 24th. Now if I wanted to open a case, I, I just went a little bit too far. Let's say we want to use the barcode scanner scan that serial number and it happens to be a land switching product it's a 2960g I know that and let's say I'm having an installation issue it's a hardware failure and we can put something quick and dirty for the title test case don't close and then if you are hesitant about putting a long description keep in mind you can always use the microphone this is a sample test case description. If you want to go longer, you can. There is no limit on how long the description can be. And now we hit done. So it, it's a little bit easier than, than typing all those words. Uh, and then you can go back in and um, edit it. And then we're going to submit. And then that case, we'll get a screen here. So that case has been created. That's the case number. Let's say we want to go and view that information. And you'll notice the case owner uh, up in the middle. That's dot .20. Again, that's, that's me. Um, if I wanted to add a photo, we could do that as well. Keep in mind, this is a, a live case. So the tag engineer is going to be really annoyed <laughs> when, they, uh, when they get this case. Uh, but we can attach that as well. And, and again, you can attach any note. Now, whenever you update or request information, the TAC engineer will be notified as well. So there's no worry about um, that ever going away or the TAC engineer not being notified that you've created an update. The other thing I wanted to mention, if you go into your settings, if you go 
to use local time zone. So by default, it would display the time stamps in your case to the UTC time zone. If you want it to be relative to your local time zone, and the app is smart enough, if you hopped on a plane on the east coast of the US and flew to the west coast, within 10 minutes, it'll adjust and recalculate the, the time stamps for you. And then you turn it back off, and it goes back to UTC. So there you have it, a quick and dirty way to manage your support cases. Um, keep in mind there are notifications that are available, especially when you create a case, regardless of where uh, you create that case, whether it's support case manager or within the app, we will let you know when the TAC engineer picks up your case or is assigned to your case. And likewise, whenever the case is transitioning from a Cisco pending state to a customer pending state, we'll let you know. And we'll also let the TAC engineer know when the case transitions from a uh, customer pending state to a Cisco pending state. So everybody stays informed. Hope you appreciate this, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.